Well, I sort of did it. Kind of, sort of. The Corvairs are here, and I'm here in my Hyundai. And, oh well. So, we're staying right across the road, four lane road, at the Hilton Garden Inn. 100 bucks a night if you're a member of the Corvair Club, which I will be shortly. I'm at the recall in Syracuse, New York, East Syracuse, on the outskirts. Got lots of room. Electrical substation. Very interesting. So, I'm going to mosey on into the Fast Track Support Center. I think it used to be the carrier factory when they used to make air conditioners here in Syracuse. Let's go take a look, see how the Corvairs are doing. Maybe we'll buy some parts. Nice of them to accommodate us. At the Corvair Recall, Syracuse, New York, 2011. Racing, later. racing? Yeah. We don't need no stinking racing. I can't even drive a Corvair here without blowing up my differential. 1960 it was not the introductory year of the Corvair. It was actually 1959, 1959 October 13th. I must have read that last night because I remember it like yesterday. We're at the Corvair Recall in Syracuse, New York. We could be from Canada or Ontario or Manitou. New Hampshire, Ashley, Manitou. Pembina Motors. Wait a minute, there's more letters here. Arista Cast, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Pembina Motors, Manitou, Manitoba. Never heard of the place. Original bill of sale. We don't have a bill of sale, no. Well, we do. Maybe they stole it off the lot. It's at home. It's a 500. It's got dog dish hubcaps that just don't quite look right to me. 55 Chevy. Straight six or 283? First year for the 283 overhead valve, thin wall yeah. casting, hydraulic valve lifters, and 12 volt electrical system. It. But you have the hubcaps. We, we, yeah, we took the hubcaps and I've had got hub, we finished. I've got hubcaps for a 69 Nova, 296, 295. Car's gone, but I got the hubcaps. I've got those too, and I got Chevelle hubcaps because we changed. GM it. Canada. This is one of the last cars to be built. In 66 in Oshawa, which is the only place they ever built Corvairs in Canada. 66 was the last year they built them in Oshawa, June yep. 14th. Marina Blue, June 14th. This was June built 14th. on the last day. This really? Was, yeah. This was the last day of production. In, in, 500, uh, Power Glide, Radio Delete, yeah, two nothing. speed wipers or one speed wiper? Two, two speed. Two speed, it's got options. Got the outside options. rear view mirror was Those standard are, in 66, mid 65. Yeah, these are different too. Two. Marina blue. It's the same color as a Corvette. You know that yeah. Marina blue Corvette. Chevy two as well. Those wheels are Chevy two. Corvette had very, very few colors that were used through the Chevy line. But I was looking for a color for my '64 Monza, and I was noticing which colors are specifically Corvette. Yeah, all the Chevy lines. We're at the drive-in theater. <laughs> How do you like that Corvair 500? You wanted economy, you bought a Corvair 500. Has it got the '95? Yes. Yeah. Cheapy. 66. Now, what color green is this? Original oh, color. Should, should be written on there. Yeah. Deluxe seat belts. Wow. 110 Power Glide, spare tire lock, electric color? clock, push. Turquoise vinyl trim. Tropical turquoise. Tropic or tropical turquoise. We're at the drive in. We got Betty Boop at Burger Heaven. Clock. Spare tire lock. Tinted glass, convertible, 1966 Chevy Corvair, parked next to another shade that looks real close. Concours judging sheet, turquoise, 1965. Notice the seats have a very narrow pleat on the 65s. And in 66, they went to a much wider pleat with a fake stitching that Clark's Corvair Parts does so beautifully with a special brass impregnating vibrating machine. Deluxe seat belts, rather uncommon option. Two convertibles. One four speed, one automatic. No clock in this one. Funny, you order a Corvair and you wouldn't get all little options. Personalize it. But that was your option back then. V8 Corvair. Let's go this way. We'll come back to the V8 in a minute. The revolutionary Corvair. That was a revolution, let me tell you. Something Ralph Nader will never forget. Ralph Nader didn't have a light. 
Ralph Nader also got $425,000 from GM for being accosted in the elevator by those spies. Probably still has that money too. 1965 Corvair Corsa Coupe, and this reminds me of the turbo model that GM used in their advertisements, their television advertisements, showing the new 65 Corvair. Turbocharged, this is a 140 four carburetor, four speed. The 65 was a sort of a one year only model. The fender trim is much, much thicker than the 66. Silver Cove appears in all the courses. The taillights are far different. The 65 is a one year only taillight. There's a 65 taillight. And the 66 had two styles. It had the wide band, chrome trim, and they had a narrow band called the wedding band chrome trim. 65 Corvair Corsa in a rest me red. The wedding band, early 66s. All right. I knew there was a distinction, but I wasn't sure. White interior, AM radio, full gauge package, four speed, has the correct fake nut on the rear view mirror. It's got chrome windshield wiper arms, which they stopped in 66. 67 had an etched metal. It's got bumper overriders. Now here's a rare car. I like that one. Aztec, you do, you do. bronze, Canadian, rarest color, matching interior. See that? This is the rarest color combo, and it's a Canadian car, eh? Hey, yeah. We'll put on our best accent, eh? This is your owner, right here. Mr. See that? Robinson. Engine mounts declining a little bit. It's in problem. Going downhill. Listen, it beats the... Uh, he's, he's, it, got, he's got one right down there. It the beats the earlys that had one bolt. See it sagging? Now, wait a minute here. That star washer goes under the ground cable on all cases, all the way into the 90s. Wait a minute, I get a wrench. That star washer, 916. So I got a vice grip, we'll just grind it on there. Oh no, I don't want it that way. That star washer goes it's underneath. Under. Yep, absolutely. That's been off a couple times. Uh oh. Flat tire. I already got you on that. It's only oh. flat on the bottom, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, okay. oh ground strap. Wait, wait, no, here. Wait, get a look. Back here's another one too. It's gone. There. Gone. Someone's been stealing your ground strap. You got one. I know it. That looks original too, like an original ground strap. Choke pull off is disconnected. Your choke brake. You know why? You want it to run rich and asphyxiate your neighbor no, or something I upstairs? I, the, this, the bass is... I say it's uh, put together wrong. I say it's tomato, you say tomato. Normally it should fit 90 degrees off. You need a pen knife to do that? I got a well, it won't stay in there anyhow. I put it in ten times. Vice grip. Aztec bronze, arguably the rarest color on 66 Corvairs, one year only, matching interior. I fixed one of these 30 years ago that was slammed hard in the back. We bondoed and pop riveted on a quarter panel. Probably long gone. Trunk color was a feature of the Canadian Corvairs last year was 66. And that very well me be the last Corvair built in Oshawa, Ontario. They were only built in Oshawa, which is not too far from Toronto, a little north of the good old U.S. of A., which is where we are right now, looking at these Corvairs. Black with red interior, classic colors, black and red or white and red. 65, this looks like a brand new Clark's interior, brand spanking new. AM, FM radio, and the chrome is gleaming telescopic steering column. Better be careful, the Corvette guys will steal it. What, uh, what are you planning on putting